Halo Outpost Discovery. What is it? What can you do there? And when is it coming to a city near you? Stay tuned throughout the video to learn all the details. How's it going everybody? We got another news update coming for you in Halo just announced by 343. We have a brand new like ex exhibition of Halo it's going to be touring the nation this summer. So if you guys like these kind of news information videos, please be sure to tap that like button. Let us know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the Discovery Outpost and if, or Outpost Discovery, I should say. If you guys have a chance to go to this, because I'm going to see if I can. It's going to be a bit of a stretch, but I'll try it. If you're new to the channel, want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, please make sure to tap subscribe with the bell, because we all know sub boxes be kind of weird at times. But anyways guys, let's get right into the video here. So Halo Outpost Discovery. What is it? It's essentially a traveling expo of everything you could possibly want to do with Halo. 343 came up with this idea because they've noticed how fans are interacting with Halo in such different ways beyond just the game itself, which is one thing I love so much about this franchise and this community. And so they're wondering like, oh, you know, some people like cosplay, some people like the game, some people like the books, some people like this and that and that. Well, how do we bring that all together? Well, they did it with Outpost Discovery. Essentially, what they're going to be doing is give you just like a three day weekend expo of being able to just do everything Halo. So they'll have things like the Hall of History, which you get to view a bunch of the museum pieces that I think they do have currently at 343 and they'll kind of truck them around the country. You have people to go check it out, you know, at these different areas. Because that's one thing I've always wanted to go to is the 343 Museum. I mean, like, I live in Seattle. Like, I shouldn't be able to see this thing, but I haven't had a chance yet. You get a chance to see some more life, life-size, you know, items. You know, they have a life-size warthog there. would be pretty cool. Get some pictures taken with that. Uh, they have the ring experience, which is basically like a video dome, which will then, like, make, give you the experience or feeling of what it's like to be on a Halo ring. And they have one thing, it's kind of sounds like an escape room, which is called Covenant Escape, which is basically what they say is to kind of like attendees get to familiarize themselves, high risk boarding maneuvers and strategies commonly undertaken by the UNSC. So it sounds like kind of like a Halo themed escape room. I've never done one of those before, but I've heard they're a lot of fun. You get to work with people trying to put these puzzles together, trying to move on to the next section kind of thing. One thing they definitely advertise pretty heavily on this is the real life laser, the Halo themed laser tag that they're going to be doing there. Uh, you can probably see some of the clips here of them playing with it. You know, you get to put like probably like a helmet, maybe use like a rifle that kind of looks like something from Halo. We'll see how much it really does play like it, but it's pretty cool. You get to play some laser tag, which is always fun. They have some Halo themed VR as well, which would be pretty interesting to see what they do with that. I know they tried something rather similar with some AR augmented reality during uh, E3 one year where they basically had you put on a hollow lens and then you get to walk around this exhibit for Halo. Well, I guess to do this for VR now. It looks like we have a thing called Pelican Training, which seems like you get the chance to simulate the flying of a pelican, maybe it seems like. Kind of like how you see like those, uh, you know, fake paint testing environments when it comes to like learning how to fly a plane or something like that. Maybe you could do it with a pelican. That'd be pretty damn awesome. I would like to see what it feels like to fly a pelican. Targeting range as well. Let you get a chance to play around with some of the some Halo themed weapons. You get to test out your accuracy. There's a leaderboard with the whole thing as well. So that's going to be pretty fun to see. The fun little thing here called a Mega Constructs. Basically, it seems like you kind of set up your own kind of screenshots with using like these micro action figures in different environments to kind of give some kind of cool little picture or something like that you can probably walk away with. And of course they have a bunch of uh, different things you can buy there and food, drinks, and all that other stuff in between. So it's kind of like basically just everything Halo, you could definitely jump in and do it. And yes, you will be able to actually play Halo there as well. As I said, there will be hundreds of game stations to play. So that sounds like a pretty under big undertaking, but I think it's something that's really unique and awesome that you don't really see very often with any other games out there besides Halo. So it's one of, the, another one of those things that helps make this community and this game so much more unique and fun. One part of this expo also happens to mention, it says, take part in one of the many available community events to learn how to live stream gameplay or build epic cosplay costumes. And this does kind of lead me towards thinking about they might have some kind of grassroots people or some people involved with like content creation in the community being involved with this. And I would have to think that maybe if that's true, 
they might see an expansion on the grassroots program and by this time I would hope so because there's a lot of people out there wondering okay so when's my you know when am I going to decline when am I going to get accepted in the grassroots and it'd be cool that each area will bring like their own person in to this whole thing which would be pretty freaking awesome from that area so like from Philadelphia I believe that um, like General Heat is over in Philadelphia so maybe go to that event or something like that where Anyone who's involved with the Halo community who's near Anaheim could just like go meet, have meetups there or something like that. I think it'd also be cool to just to get a chance to meet up with people in the community, which would be pretty damn awesome. Or have some kind of things to do, interact with, you know, people you may know online but never met in person. Because what's more awkward than meeting people you've never met before, but then also going like, whoa, I like Halo. You like Halo? Yeah, cool. What else? I don't know. I just feel like this whole event is going to be a really great opportunity to interact with Halo much for much more than just the game itself. And there also will be different panels there as well for different kind of discussions, I'm sure, rather Halo related. So they are still taking in submissions when it comes to that kind of stuff. But if you have something to talk about when it comes to Halo, I'm sure you can get a chance to get into it. Yeah, there's going to be people in cosplay. There's going to be, I mean, I, there's no word when it comes to different grassroots people showing up there. I don't think they would because it seems like a little bit too much of a time commitment for a gra flying out grassroots individuals. Maybe they might be for just like one event or something like that, but that'd be pretty cool to add that in there as well. I think more events like this would be fantastic, especially if you bring grassroots people and they kind of get a chance to play with other people. Like it sounds like what they're going to be doing in Austin, Texas in March, which is looking more and more like I'll be able to go to that, which would be pretty damn amazing. I think this would be a great chance to have like content creators, streamers, and other stuff, and you know, people within, it's said there will be people from 343 going there as well, but get a chance to interact with people who are heavily invested in this game as well. I think some of those activities they have set up sound pretty damn awesome. It sounds like a lot of like photo op opportunities to kind of post on Facebook, like look at me doing some cool Halo stuff. I mean, be able to jump into a live science Warhog and get a picture would be like, that would be pretty freaking awesome. I think the Halo Ring experience sounds rather interesting. I wonder how they'd be able to pull it off. The Covenant Escape Room does sound pretty fun. Not gonna lie, I've never done an Escape Room thing, but they've always, I've always heard good things, and uh, I would definitely like to do a Halo themed one for sure. Though uh, this might not be able to in my cards because the location. Now I'm sure for a few of you. It would be amazing where these places where this little traveling expo is going and for many of you i'm sure it's be a bit of a letdown but let's get right into the dates and locations of where this outpost will be taking place so july 5th through the 7th will be in orlando florida july 19th through the 21st will be in philadelphia august 2nd through the 4th will be in chicago august 16th through the 18th will be in houston and August 30th through September 1st will be in Anaheim. Now maybe on the west coast, Anaheim is the closest location to me, but I'm pretty sure I'll be going to PAX pretty much right around that same time that uh, Halo Outpost Discovery thing is going on. So that kind of leaves it so I don't really have the opportunity to go see this Outpost Discovery thing for Halo, which is a damn shame. I wish there were some more things going on for it. I wish it wasn't just a summer thing. It'd be so cool if it's like a year long, like traveling the world kind of thing, but I'm pretty sure they can't pull that off exactly. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is coming to my area. I totally want to go. But how much is it going to cost me? Well, we have the prices right here. I clicked it on it, checked out the Florida prices, and it shows for a three day pass for general admission comes out to $130. For a single day pass comes up to 55 now it's a bit pricey yes and if you're going to try to convince your friends to go and drop 130 bucks in this expo it might be a little uh tough for the convincing but for me i would totally pay for it because i just love halo and would like to do it but i have the opportunity to do it but well i'm gonna i can assume a lot of people won't be able to have the opportunity to do it so it kind of depends how the whole thing goes. I would just think like if they're saying like it's gonna be like a family event kind of thing, I couldn't imagine having to drop like 55 bucks per person to go to this. That's a little steep, but you know, if I was like a dad with my kid and I, we both loved Halo, oh yeah, I totally would buy it 100%. It'd be like the equivalent of like buying a ticket for a baseball game or something like that, but be like way more fun. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your guys' thoughts on the Halo Outpost Discovery. If, if you're going to be able to have a chance to go to this. Is that price too steep for you? Let me know in the comment section. I do read all of them and try to reply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, 
please make sure to tap subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.